All right, hey everybody, this is Jay Crankshaw, and I am here today to show you how Elevons work. The theory behind the Elevons has always kind of confused me until I actually started flying and uh, got a good grasp of the concept of how it actually works. But um, a lot of people will go and they'll start making these planes and uh, they'll hook up the control surfaces and not even think twice about making sure that the elevons are functioning correctly. So let's check this out. We all know that both your elevons need to go up in order for you to get up in the air. So you'll push down on the stick and the elevons will go up. Now to turn left, your left elevon needs to go up and your right one goes down. The air is going to hit the left elevon and push the left wing down as well as the air pushing the right wing up and that is how we do a left turn and vice versa for the right turn. So we have up and then we're going to turn left. I'm going to tilt the plane in the direction. So by turning left the plane is going to do this and the elevon is going to go up to turn left. And going down, of course, you are going to push up on the stick and that's going to bring the elevons down, which will force the plane into the ground. Um, so if you look at the plane from the front, you got to remember your control surfaces are going to be uh, backwards, so make sure that you uh, practice a lot on the simulator. So uh, the left wing looks like this. That's a left turn. That means the plane is going to do this number. It's going to turn like that. If you're still confused after watching this video, I suggest you make yourself a foamy and um, tape one of the elevons up and one down and hand toss it and watch the direction that it travels in. That's ultimately what I had to do in order to figure out exactly how they work. So there's your video on Elevons. I will be doing further videos on how to set up your Elevons using the DX6i and the Exceed RC transmitters. Thank you for watching.